Hello and welcome to Mr. Glove Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. I hope all of you are doing really well. So today we are taking a look at the true feelings of your current partner, your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, um, a new love interest, somebody you are connected to. I am not talking about um, your ex or somebody you are in separation with. Um, this is not a situationship reading. Okay, if you enjoy this reading and connect with my energy, please don't forget to like, comment, to let me know how this resonates and be a subscriber, become a part of this amazing community. Don't forget to click on the notification bell to never miss an update. Please keep in mind this is a general and timeless reading. So if something doesn't resonate with you, it could be a message for another individual. And we have three groups here. So pick the one you are most drawn to intuitively. You can watch more than one file if you like. And there are a ton of pick a card readings on this channel. The link is in the description of this video. So please check it out. If something goes out to you, there could be a message for you in that reading. So go and watch it. Okay, there are timeless readings. So you can uh, watch it whenever you want. And I do offer personal readings. So if you would like to book a personal session with me, all the information is linked down below in the description of this video. Let's start with your reading. Let's see what we have for you. Hello, group one. If you chose Venus, welcome to your reading. So today we are going to talk about the true feelings of your current partner. What are their thoughts on you? What do they like about you? And this is about your current partner, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, wife, a new love interest. Uh, today, this is about a significant connection in your life. I'm not talking about your ex or somebody you are in separation with. Yeah, somebody you are connected to in the 3D. Okay, so let's see what we have for you. We have Venus, the part of you that desires beauty, success, indulgence and valuables. Now the Venusian energy is all about beauty, love, romance, soulmates, empathy, compassion. So I feel this person is absolutely smitten by you. There are strong feelings involved, feelings of love, romance, passion, uh, deep emotions. You know, I feel the moment they met you, they have an innate uh, recognition, a desire, an understanding that you are their soulmate. I can see there's a sense of loyalty, um, devotion to an extent, sincerity, and they are extremely committed to you. In fact, they feel what they have with you, uh, that's true love. They have never experienced this with anyone before. And they were in really wonderful relationships in the past. But the way their heart is set on you, it's almost unreal for, for them to understand how they can feel this way about another a human being. And, you know, I feel even you know this connection is special. You can feel it. It's beyond your comprehension. Um, they're truly grateful to share their space their energy, their time, their love, and their life with you. One thing they genuinely love about you is you display a combination of sensitivity and strength. Yeah, this duality where on one hand you have empathy, you are kind, you understand emotions really well, and you value people. And on the other, you do not allow people to take advantage of your sensitivity. You don't allow them to treat you with disrespect or say whatever they want and leave without taking accountability. They feel you're also extremely courageous. You know, you call a spade a spade. Uh, you do not try to please people. You dare to dream differently and you surely know how to take big risks, even if you are standing alone. You never shy away from um, 
a saying what's in your heart. So they admire these qualities in you. Along with that, you are somebody who is quite attentive. Perhaps you notice things which other people may overlook, uh, you know, paying attention to the likes and dislikes of others, or maybe what makes them uncomfortable, or something related to people's personality, habits, dressing sense. You are quick to notice. Uh, yes, you observe minutely. When you meet them for the first time, or when you start a dating, you may still remember those little details about your partner. You know, for instance, the preferred temperature of their drinking water. Uh, just to give you an example, um, how they like to eat their ice cream mm. or the way they like to button their shirt. Yeah, something like that, which may not even be something people notice. And I feel it's not just about your person. You may be an observant and detail-oriented person with the people you love, uh, friends, family, your loved ones, your surrounding, nature in general. Group 1, some of you have photographic memory. Yes, so your person is often fascinated because they are not like you. And you know, they love it. It piques their curiosity. Uh, they love your physical touch. And it's not always in a sexual way. Where they are turned on by the way you touch them, it's more like a healing effect. It automatically calms them down, um, a source of comfort, especially after a long, tiring day. Uh, just a hug from you will wash away all of their stress and anxiety, so they feel your touch is magical. You know, none of the logical explanations can describe how your touch soothes them, so they feel it's, it's magical. It has healing properties. I feel a lot of times you push this person to think outside the box. Um, you give them a boost of confidence whenever they need. You may even tell them how to say something without offending people or simply standing up for themselves because I feel your person does not like to confront people. Uh, it's more of a letting go attitude, uh, not taking credit for their hard work. Uh, really modest in that sense and sometimes they're tossed in the corner because of their modesty so they appreciate you for your guidance for the way you teach them to handle different situations uh, you bring a new perspective you show them a new way of approaching a complicated situation you could be an earth sign or maybe um, a dominant taurus Virgo, capricorn or aquarius in your birth chart yeah, we have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel your partner is extremely sure about this connection. Whether you are together right now or in a long distance relationship, whatever the timeline is, because I feel some of you are unable to keep this relationship flowing uh, because of your busy schedule, but uh, they have never questioned their intention or their choice, however difficult your situation might be. If this is somebody you have recently met and you are getting to know each other, they want a committed partnership with you. They are not looking for other options. Uh, they are content and happy with their choice. From the moment you have been together, whether it has been 15 days or 15 years, uh, they know you are perfect for them. You deserve their heart, their love, their vulnerability, uh, all of their feelings. Yeah, I feel they see a whole new world with you. If you are in this world and you are together, you can weather any storm. And, you know, with this world, I feel uh, some of you live at a distance, okay? Uh, in different countries or cities, you are mostly connected through social media, um, the World Wide Web. Yeah, I feel there's no question about whether their feelings are true. It's as true as the sun and the moon. There's a very strong energy of creation. They want to create with you every single day. A strong bond, a family, a life filled with joy and peace. With you as their lover, um, their companion, their friend, their guide, their partner, their husband or wife. So the love 
attraction and curiosity with this individual only keeps growing with time. That's what they feel uh, because they are still hooked on to you. Their passion, desires, their interest and romance is not a limited time offer. You know, group one, I feel in this relationship, the time frame of your connection doesn't really matter. The intensity is just the same. Your partner feels you are a well-rounded individual. Um, there's nothing they would want to change about you or about your personality. Um, oftentimes, they may tell you this is not right or that is not right or this could have been better. That could be done differently, but it is just their honest opinion. You know, not a feedback. You are equivalent to perfection in their eyes. Okay? Now, with this devil energy, um, I'm sensing there's a degree of intimidation that they feel from you. And it has been a constant, whether you are married or dating, doesn't matter how long it has been, because sometimes they feel they are completely naked in front of you in terms of um, not being able to hide anything. And we also have the detective. You can see through them. You have an upper hand in this department. You will immediately know what is going on with them. So they could be a little afraid of you because of this reason. Not that you are a tyrant. Um, it's just that you know them too well for their own good. So they are afraid of making a mistake and then perhaps disappointing you. I feel before meeting you, uh, they may have felt restless scared about the future, overthinking, procrastinating, or the pressure of being successful was heavy on them. But the moment you come together, uh, depending on your partnership, uh, they have become really calm and patient. And group one, even you may have noticed this change in their demeanor, in their attitude. They don't overthink as much or stress about the future. Honestly, they feel uh, the credit goes to you. From you, they have learned to take their time, think, analyze, and then make a choice after assessing all the pros and cons. I strongly feel you are really low maintenance. You don't want too much. You have a great taste and good standards. Um, you know, you are content with the basics. So they feel fortunate to be with a partner who is all about nurturing and growing together. With you in their life, there's a sense of assurance that they are on the right path with the right person and everything is under control. And above all, I feel they're really happy with you. Okay. All right. So for now, that is what I'm getting. Um, they truly love you. And if you have any doubt, I hope this reading sums up their true feelings for you so group one thank you so much for being here if you like this reading don't forget to like comment to let me know and subscribe if you are new i will see you in the next reading i'm sending lots of love and light to you take care hello group two if you chose the moon welcome to your reading so today we are going to talk about the true feelings of your current partner what are their thoughts on you what do they like about you your most adorable and cherished qualities according to your partner and this is about your current partner your boyfriend girlfriend husband wife a new love interest um you know i'm not talking about your ex or somebody you are in separation with or maybe a no contact situation this is not that reading okay this is about a significant connection in your 3d physical reality okay so let's see what we have We have the moon, your unconscious, sensitive inner emotions and responses. So perhaps you are a water sign, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. But, um, you know, a water dominant birth chart. You know, group two, I feel you are somebody who wants good things for everybody. You don't hold on to grudges 
you don't gossip blame or bitch about others yes the purity of your heart is always reflected in your actions uh, the way you are with people your behavior mannerisms you often go out of your way to help people um, trying to bring a smile on their face and this shows your generosity the innocence of your soul this gentle soft and warm side of yours is absolutely loved by your partner your spouse uh, you know in today's day and age it's difficult to find uh, authentic people because there's always a facade so they feel they locked out in this department and truly you have the essence of a selfless human being that's what they think they can't fathom how beautiful you are inside and out but they also admire your grace you know you are really graceful um the way you carry yourself the way you present yourself the fact that you do not stoop down to another individual's level to teach them a lesson uh, shows you have a set of rules boundaries a code of conduct and you honor that yes your principles your values are really important to you you would much rather continue to walk on your path instead of engaging with trolls haters nasty people because you believe people will always have an opinion good or bad but you can't allow those voices to deter you from reaching your destination right so that is your philosophy the way you keep your mind centered at all times not getting disturbed if somebody is trying to pull you down or if they are trying to to harm you it's commendable you know you are somebody who would let god or the universe handle everything you would simply remove yourself from that situation it's not that you have a big ego or you are arrogant and you feel you are better than other people no it's absolutely not that you know you feel this is a matter of choice and your sense of right and wrong you are very clear about the way you conduct yourself your behavior and actions have to be in line with your principles i don't know if your partner is religious or they believe in spirituality but they know you have a strong connection to souls to god to the universe to the laws of nature and they may have witness this first hand for example if you have prayed for something to happen it may have happened um animals and babies are attracted to you butterflies are around you and um, it often sits on your body yeah so they feel there's there's a divine element to you maybe they don't really understand this but it is truly mesmerizing for them yeah we have guide represents the nature of the divine in life and in yourself yeah i feel they always see you guiding people or uh, helping them out you never throw people under the bus or use them for your own advantage um, or maybe lead them astray or deliberately uh, pushing them towards a bad choice you give them the truth and then you comfort them if it is a bitter one um, you don't try to hide your recipe of success if something works for you or you excel you would want to um uh, share it share that knowledge with others um uh, not like you know i'm going to take it to my grave not that sort of an attitude so your partner feels this is not just big heartedness or being selfless this is inspirational you are secure with who you are you don't feel threatened you try to uplift people because when they grow it makes you feel happy and everything i've mentioned all these qualities this is what they love about you you could even be a libra aquarius or a gemini maybe a fire sign sun moon rising mercury or venus we have two pages here uh, page of wands and the page of cups i feel crypto your inner child is still alive and thriving uh, the innocence of childhood you are still holding on to it 
You try to keep your life simple and you, and you often make space by removing what you no longer need. Um, people, things, relationships, your own habits. You know, little things makes you happy. Um, you feel excited even about the small things in your life, in your everyday life. Because, you know, a majority of us are busy in the rat race. It's more about the bigger things in life big accomplishments, a higher status, better salary. And I'm not saying you are not in that rat race, but you know, you take a moment to smell the roses. You find joy in uh, a small gesture or something insignificant is enough to make you happy. Um, the truth is, they get a chance to live their childhood along with you. You have healed them, opened them up, made them carefree if you are married and you have kids they feel uh, you have given them the most precious gift of life they are grateful for that and if you are dating uh, they want to have kids with you they dream about it all the time um, with the ace of swords and the page of cups their image to the outside world versus the way they behave at home with you. In this relationship, there's a stark contrast. You know, with people, they like direct communication. They are serious. They don't easily mingle with everybody. But at home, they are playful, childlike, uh, very talkative, cracking jokes. And they're goofy because you are not going to judge them. They feel you have created a safe haven for them. A place where they can be themselves and exist exactly the way they want without the fear of being judged or criticized. And I feel uh, as a child, uh, while growing up, uh, they were really criticized. So they sort of closed uh, themselves up. This energy of the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Swords they feel the communication in this relationship has been crystal clear because of you. Whatever you feel, you say it like that. And they have also learned to um, be this open um, in the way they share their feelings, their thoughts, uh, whether it's positive or negative. Yeah, they, they say it out loud. Even when there's a disagreement, you like to talk through it to resolve your issues, so you have made it easier for them to express themselves. Be transparent. Um, I feel you are a bit more emotionally mature than your partner, and they know you have better understanding than them. Uh, they really love your voice. Uh, if you sing or the way you articulate your thoughts, it's truly captivating for them. Um, when you get ready or you dress up, uh, it seems your partner will keep looking at you. Mm. You know, I'm hearing if you wear glasses, they find you to be really cute. Okay? To give you an overall energy of their true feelings um, whenever they look at you. Even randomly, um, their heart is filled with happiness and excitement. And you know, that is usually reflected on their face. And it's not because they're noticing you after a long time. It's you. You are enough to bring a surge of happy emotions, happy feelings. Uh, a lot like recharging their battery. You know, I feel the kind of relationship you two share. It's like teenage lovers or friends. It's colorful, vibrant. You have your own kind of fun, secret languages and jokes that are best known to the two of you. But on the outside, people may feel you are self-centered or um, a serious sort of a couple, a little boring as well. But I feel you share a healthy relationship and that's all that matters. They're very much in love with you. There's no doubt about it. They always take a stand for you. Uh, may have done it in the past when you started dating or if this is a new connection, they intend to move forward with you. They may even talk to their friends or family about you. 
I'm also getting another message which is not exactly related to their true feelings, but but I'm seeing maybe you have a creative mind or you are talented in something. You know, like painting, dancing, um, you could be a wonderful writer or maybe a knack for singing. But for some time, you have been disconnected from that side of your personality. Um, you are busy with other things in your life. Um, it seems like you're almost avoiding or neglecting it. And your partner's message is for you to make time for yourself, uh, the way you do it for others. They feel you are really talented and it should not go to waste. Um, if you decide to pursue it, you will go a long way. So they just want to make sure you are devoting some time to what makes you happy, what makes you feel alive, something that is just yours and you find your joy, peace and comfort in it. Okay, so that is what I have for you for now. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I hope this reading makes you happy and gives you clarity if you are in doubt. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment to let me know and subscribe if you are new. I will see you in the next reading. I'm sending lots of love and light to you. Take care. Hello, Group 3. If you chose Chiron, welcome to your reading. So today we are going to talk about the true feelings of your current partner. What are their thoughts on you? Your most unique and admirable qualities according to your partner. And remember, this is about your current partner, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband or wife, uh, a new love interest. Somebody you are connected to, I am not talking about your ex or somebody you are in separation with or maybe a no contact situation. This is not a situationship reading. Today, this is about a significant connection in your life, in your 3D physical reality. Uh, let's see what we have. So Chiron says, your healing power, empathy and the ability to teach or learn remedies. First and foremost, uh, I'm seeing they see you as a life-giving tree. That's the symbolism I'm getting. Um, you are abundant. You are humble. And they learn a lot from you, which has helped them in their personal development and growth. Small or bigger lessons about life, in general, perhaps, uh, just by closely observing you. Um, for example, how do you deal with a tough situation versus if they were in your place, how would they have reacted to it? And maybe they thought your approach was better. I feel they have grasped a lot uh, just by looking at you, the way you function. So another thing I can sense for you, group three, is you have always been more family oriented than your partner or your spouse. You share a wonderful relationship with them. It's a really tight unit and they are tremendously important to you. Yes, you have friends and you love them, but your family will always be your first priority. Before meeting you, their approach towards life or their perspective on various things were very different. Um, they didn't spend a lot of time with their family or they don't share a strong bond with them for weeks or, or months. They would not be in touch with their family, um, you know, busy doing their own thing. But when they see your relationship with your family, siblings, uh, extended family, they feel it's a fun, healthy relationship, which keeps you grounded. You don't need a therapist because your mental and emotional health is always in check. So it made them understand how family can positively shape a person to be who they are. If the relationship is healthy and full of trust, you know, I believe being connected to our roots gives us an identity of where we come from and where we are headed, getting the support of your loved ones, being a part of the community, the advantages and positive aspect to it. So I feel it's because of you they have renewed their relationship with their family or they will slowly heal their relationship with their parents or siblings in the future. Um, in fact, for some of you, 
they could be estranged from uh, their family and you may have acted as a catalyst to turn on a new leaf. So they really feel grateful about that. Group three, your person feels you are a risk taker. You are not really concerned about the outcome. You just want to try even if you fail. You simply want to experience it. You don't want to regret about not taking a chance. So whenever you get an opportunity to try your hand at something new, um, you will grab it, whether it's about your investments or your work or maybe pitching your idea to an influential person. You will be in the forefront. They really admire this in you. It shows strength and character and pushing your boundaries. So I think they try to imitate some of your life's philosophy in their life too. <clears throat> you know what I feel? You are a romantic at heart, but you sort of try to hide it. Um, you don't want to be labeled as cheesy or cringy, so you often underplay your your romantic desires or gestures. When you are romantic and the way you express your love, um, it could be old school, probably. You love writing love notes or maybe romantic gestures like staring into your partner's eyes, a picnic at the park, uh, walking hand in hand. I'm not saying your connection lacks romance. When you initiate it, it happens once in a blue moon. They feel you are stingy with it because you want your partner to want more. And it's not that they dislike it. Feel it becomes more special and beautiful when you shower them with love. Um, they appreciate the efforts you put in, the contrast you bring to the table. You are bold and confident with a touch of gentleness softness from, yeah i'm seeing they also love your hair you know the color texture or length of your hair you could be a leo or an earth sign um maybe an air sign i feel your partner knows they can't get a better partner than you you are affectionate and respectful towards them and that's what they want in a partner with this empress energy um uh, if you are engaged married or living together they are truly happy in this relationship and and in a lot of ways uh, they are dependent on you for strength emotional satisfaction for love uh, for keeping them grounded again the imagery of a tree is coming up uh, you know how a tree provides food shelter keeps the environment cool uh, so on and so forth so they see you as this person who makes a huge difference in their life. If you are dating or oh, this is a recent connection, uh, for some it could be a long distance relationship. I feel this is going to be a long term relationship, a partnership, being together for a long time. And moreover, they want to ground this connection, make it official. So maybe engagement or marriage is on their mind. You know, having kids or living with you, building a future they are thinking about it i feel a lot of people uh, do not like your anger but your spouse your partner they know you don't get angry for no reason because you use your anger as a powerful tool to right the wrongs or to raise your voice to bring fairness into a particular situation so maybe a lot of people may think you are overreacting or you are short-tempered but i feel um, they know where it is coming from. They also feel you are really confident with yourself. You know you and you love yourself. And that quality of not uh, undervaluing or degrading yourself, something that helps you be the person you are. So you teach them to not be too hard on themselves. You are a person and you will make mistakes. You are here to learn. That is the attitude. You don't have to be perfect all the time. So thinking negatively about yourself will only pull you down. And I feel this has been the greatest lesson. So with the Page of Pentacles and the King of Swords, uh, perhaps when you met them for the first time, they could be a bit immature, especially with respect to their finances. Uh, they did not have a concrete plan for the future. Um, they were living in the present moment, even a bit disconnected from reality. 
But after they meet you, they sort of turn into a mature, disciplined, uh, structure-loving individual who has a plan for the future, who is careful about his or her finances, who has goals and a vision for what he or she wants to create. And the credit for this huge transformation and growth is genuinely attributed to you. If you have kids, they feel you are a terrific parent um, and they love your parenting style. I'm seeing a sense of pride, proud of the fact that they get to be with you. And there's a reason for that. With the Empress and the King of Swords, I feel they take pride in knowing you are better than them. You know, in looks, uh, in your education, maybe your position at work, your ability to communicate, to articulate, the way you handle money, your nature, your personality. Uh, and in spite of all of that, you choose to be with them. It's unimaginable, yet overwhelming, and a matter of pride for your person, for your spouse. I feel there's another aspect to it. Um, this could be one of the reasons they choose to level up, because they don't want to make you feel like you made a mistake by choosing them. So they try their best to match up to your energy, to your expectations. They want you to respect them even more and for you to take pride in them as well. Uh, you know, for some of you, I'm seeing your career graph uh, was much better than theirs when you first connected or started dating. And you may have supported or encouraged them to reach a particular position or work in a particular field, get promoted, or somehow enhance their skills, their knowledge through education or maybe training of some kind. So you were always there to support them. They feel you saw them when they were not the most appealing version of themselves. So this means a lot to your partner. I feel your partner or spouse could be infamous for being too blunt or direct and they don't do it purposely. Uh, they could be sarcastic. They have a weird sense of humor. People may end up misunderstanding them, but with you, they can easily share their wildest dreams, desires and fantasies in a carefree manner and you can see how playful they are with you. You understand their humor, their dark jokes. Whoever they are, they feel after meeting you, their fate has changed. The universe is favoring them. Uh, luck is on their side. And whether it's a man or a woman, you are their lucky charm because they feel their efforts would not materialize the way it has if you were not a part of their life. If you are in doubt, they really respect you a lot and they don't want to mess it up this connection is way too important for them because it has really transformed their life for the better and you play a huge role in that i think i should end your reading right here on this beautiful thought uh, i hope you enjoyed this so thank you for watching if you like this reading don't forget to like comment to let me know and subscribe if you are new i'm sending lots of love and light to you take care